Now we've got the hinges all fixed on the door, we've offered it back into place. We've got a 3mm spacer at the top to get the right height, but the top two hinges, of course, were done with a router and a router template. So we don't need to mark those two. In this case, we're just going to mark the bottom hinge, where we're going to traditionally chisel it and hammer it out. So I've just marked the top and bottom of the hinge, put a little line between, that's not the depth, but just a little line so I know where to chisel out. So I can now take the door back away, router out the top ones with the template, and including putting a 3mm spacer in, top of the template, to the right height, and I'll chisel the bottom out, and we're good to go. Put the back door back in again. The top two hinges we were done with the router. So I use the same template on the top of the door frame. When you lift it up, you have to remember you need a 3mm gap between the door and the frame. So we'll put a 3mm packer in, and then clamp it on. Just double check the packet is correct, not come loose. <laughs> Templates form, ready to go. And we can put the router through. So now we can start routering out the hinges on the top. The template is all fixed firmly and we need to, first of all, need to make sure we've got the right depth. So I'm happy with that, I'm going to router it out and we'll see how we go. As this has already got a groove down here for the intermescent to go through, you don't need to take the corner out as it's already taken the cut out already. I can clean that up and fit the hinge. What I like to do is take another spare hinge if you have, try it in the hole, pilot drill the holes first before putting the door in. <laughs> 